Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord's Weekend God's Life. So, the law paints a picture of Jesus. That's what holiness looks like. Him, not me. I mean, he's the one who is meek. He is the one who has love for his enemies. He is the one who is patient and chaste. He is the one who is kind. Love looks like Jesus. And the law, it paints a picture of, of Jesus, which sort of makes sense because, you know, he's the source of all holiness. It's what he wants, holiness. He calls us, be holy. Is I the Lord your God am holy? Of course, he wants us to do holy things. I hope nobody's questioning that. He even died to make us holy. That's the gospel. The law paints a picture of Jesus. The gospel paints a picture of you. You are somebody that Jesus died to make holy. You are somebody who is baptized and washed into that holiness. The Lord your God makes you holy and then points you towards your neighbor and calls you to live inside of what he has already made you. Holiness. Do holy stuff. The Lutheran word for that, it's, it's vocation. And it's super important. Vocation is where we practice the law that paints a picture of Jesus. And that right there is the holiest thing we do. You know, where a mom takes care of her kid and changes the dirty diapers, where the kid honors their father and mother and obeys them. I know that that's kind of hard to believe because it's, it's boring and, and ordinary. But look to the table of duties. That is just as good as it gets. The problem is that we want something else. Luther writes, But the other works cause people to open their eyes and ears wide, and men to aid this effect by the great display, expense, and magnificent buildings in with which they adorn them, so that everything shines and glitters. And there they waft incense, they sing and ring bells, they light tapers and candles, so that nothing else can be seen or heard. For when a priest stands there in the surplus embroidered with guilt, or a layman continues all day upon his knees in church, that is regarded as a most precious work which no one can sufficiently praise. But when a poor girl tends a little child and faithfully does what she is told, that is considered nothing. For what else should monks and nuns seek in their cloisters? And uh, that's kind of hard to say this time of year in the middle of conference season. Um, because the worship at Higher Things is on point. Y'all sing. It shines. It glitters. There are candles. There's chanting. There's vestments. That has got to count for more, right? I mean, otherwise, why do it over and over and over again? Several times a day? Well, worship isn't where we give anything to God. It's where we receive from him. We receive holiness in word and in sacrament. We receive that which defines us as who we are now. We are the baptized. We are the ones united with Christ. We are holy because God has made us that way. And so with the way that we worship, well, that's not to make us extra holy by dressing up or singing louder. It's to paint a picture of Jesus. That stuff the chasubles, the candles, the singing. It, it points to what you're being given. It paints a picture of Jesus. The great joy is that you can receive it and then live in it. You can serve your neighbors that God has given you and the vocations that he has placed you in by looking to the commandments which he has established as your guide. The law then stops being a measurement for you. It's just how God loves you. And, well, he wants that kind of love for the people that he has given you too. He says, you shall be holy as I, the Lord your God, am holy. Is that law? Yeah. Is it a promise? Oh, you bet. The word demands an awful lot, more than we can fulfill. God's law in its fullness condemns us all. But God's word gives everything that it demands. You don't need to add to it by dressing it up. In fact, just receive the holiness that God gives you in the gospel. Receive the holiness in word and in sacrament and rejoice to know that it works itself out in vocation. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org, clicking on the support and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran. Higherthings.org slash support. Give today.